covers the earth in a blanket of her bounty. Like a sleeping child, she is tired and ready to rest. An impressive spectrum of color fills the fields with amber, a fragrance whisked through the winds that can only describe a cool fall day. It's the most beautiful time in the year, and I wish that monument could just freeze and I could live in it forever. Sadly, the perimeters of space and time are fairly hard to break. So I'm stuck with memories and photographs, and I need a little something more personal for my taste. I'll find a spot that can show others what I see, show the beauty of nature compared to the harsh cold reality of metal frames and concrete. I could paint a sort of snapshot from creativity with my hands and passion. It will be my masterpiece, my muse. It will show people what I see, built with nothing more than a brush and a few strokes, a scene will be born. I walk through this tunnel of amber, I look at the trees, whose trunks raise up to the sky, similar to the towers mankind has built in honor to their gods of electricity and steel. So many similarities and so few. Perhaps the architects of their people looked up to the trees for inspiration. upon my battlefield, a simple canvas to some, an empty void to me that needs to be filled. My sword is a paintbrush, my shield is a palette, and my armor is my love. Clouds conquer space, plants move toward the sky, time passes on. At the climax of my creation, I fall, not in defeat, nor in failure, but for the pure feeling of bliss. I look upon the work, blood, sweat, tears, and paint. Its beauty is unrivaled, its taste is exponential. That's why I need to destroy it. Like human civilizations, at the apex of their glory, they are destroyed by either nature, war, and in some cases by their own arrogances, such as my sin. Watch the flames engulf the peace, burning away my brush strokes and burning away in the reflection of my eyes. Up in smoke, into the sky, it becomes a part of nature. I become a